Now listen to the word on iHeartRadio. The Antonio Johnson Show is sponsored by Antonio Johnson on the word 100.7 FM. What's happening, baby? It's the one and only praise party every Saturday night. 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. Antonio Johnson. It's time for the three-minute discussion. This is the discussion from uh, TLC yeah. Network, uh-huh. the sisterhood. sisterhood. Sisterhood, TLC. Yes, it's about five uh, first ladies. Right now, there's an outrage in the Christian community. Uh-huh. And What's it's what facing, they mad about? They're facing boycott. Boycott? What are they boycotting? Boycott? They're trying to boycott the show. Oh, what are they okay. going to boycott the show for? Well, one lady has taken matters into her own hands. She got a petition that's already launched to cancel the show. How many names they got on that petition? I'm not sure about how many names. But too many. they're saying <laughs> that, we'll watch that show. the portrayal is not uh, positive for the Christian community. Here's my here's my issue. Can I stand up on this? Yeah, I didn't stand, I I, I didn't stand up with this. I, I, I'm going to tell you what my issue with the show is. Okay. My issue with the show is this. I really don't think that people want to see Christians and their struggles in a real way. Right. That's reality. Right. I, I mean, you know, I know you're human and you go through, but I, I don't want to see the pastor's wife or the pastor dealing with stuff I deal with. Right. I want to, in my mind, feel like they're doing something different than right. me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and nobody will see that. Right. I mean, they, they seeing it. They seeing it every day, you know, in real life. So yeah, watching it on TV to me is no different. Yeah. Well, but this is this is my perspective of it. There are a lot of reality shows that shows the negativity of yeah. the black community itself. Mm-hmm. So if we're focusing on a Christian show, we want to see the positive positive of being a Christian. So let's show the reality of the positive life. Ain't nobody gonna watch life. that. They will. That's unfortunate. They ain't nobody will. gonna watch oh, that lady T. They will. It's, it's nobody gonna watch that. It's boring. Yeah, but it's, it's boring to see everything go right. Yeah. No, nobody watch TV when right. everything goes right. It doesn't okay. have to go right. Would you turn it on? Positive. If the pack they go okay, they go to church. Uh-huh. They in the car, they talking about the Lord, they get out the car, they praying, get to church, the message ends, he said, Oh baby, sweetheart. They go home and get the kids together and, Oh baby, God bless you, hallelujah. That's not gonna make the news. No, That's not you gonna can make the news. Ain't nobody have, gonna so, watch that. You can have an argument in the car. You can have some heated fellowship in the car. Heated on the way. Heated fellowship. I like that. On the way to the church, that will be interesting. That you don't have to cross that line. And be like the regular show. What's the purpose of saying it's a Christian show? I think it's enough negativity already right. out there. Right, I agree with it's you. I don't. I don't think uh, in my mind I, you didn't. They didn't even need to call it because uh, it originally was going to be called Preachers' Wives. Okay. Now it's called Sisterhood. Wow. But I, I, I think the reality to the show is that th- you expect some controversy. Same like to me because one of the young ladies, she was real adamant about saying, "I that was my first crap." I have my first crap, I have my first shot of crap. I hadn't wow. seen the show. I <laughs> you know haven't what I'm seen it. I just and, heard about it. Well, it. And then even the pastor mm-hmm. uh, told about um, uh, the diseases that he caught. So and, they went in detail. You know, huh? yeah. I, mean, I mean, they, they were they, giving they, testimonies. And, and yeah. I know. But come on now, let's talk about testimonies for a minute. You remember back in the day, you okay. know what I'm saying? They don't do it at the mega church because okay. you can't testify at the mega church. Right. But the little bit of church I grew up in, okay. you could testify. And Pastor had to sit over there and kind of eyeball the deacon to go get your cup. Sometime Mother Pew would stand up and she would tell it all. Right. You know, she'd get deep into her testimony. She'd tell some stuff that we'd be like, oh, it's children here. Right. Yeah, TMI. You right. know what I'm saying? So that ain't new. Right. Yeah, but it but they they portray it to be new when they put it on TV. So like I can say you see it every day. You know, you you seeing the reality of it when you're at church. You know, Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so to speak. But then when they put it on TV, then there's a problem because you're seeing reality for what it really is. You know what? I'm gonna say this, and this is what bothers me the most about it. And and you can watch the show if you want. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You might as well watch uh, Sisterhood on TLC, and you might as well watch Best Funeral Ever. Right. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> barbecue and praises. I mean, barbecue right. ribs and praises, and uh, I don't know about that. But anyway, let's get back to Sisterhood. Right. Uh, my problem with the show is this: you can do a lot of stuff in ministry. And really try to be effective and read stuff, and 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 nobody will say anything about it. But right. then you get on TV mm-hmm. as a pastor and teach your kids how to put a, put a condom on a banana, okay. and everybody talking about it. 
That's my problem with. That's my problem with the show. I want us to be known for something major, making an impact and all that. You know, but it's funny how something as simple as a condom on a banana gets but. quoted more than you know. what I'm saying that somebody's wonderful message that was life changing and impactful. That's what's strange to me. That's what bothers me about shows like this. And that points to the writers and producers of the show because they want to write about something people want to look at. You but know, still, watch. If, okay. but if you're Which saying is, the key word here is Christian, Christian, right. it's just not reality show. They call it sisterhood. But it no is Christian a Christian reality show. Right. It's, a, it's a reality show about I'm, I'm women who are right married, 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 married to pastors. There's some Christians on a reality show. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm here on the website that yeah. says. It's a Christian reality show. The sisterhood is being portrayed as a Christian reality show, comma, featuring preachers slash pastors wives from Atlanta, Georgia. That's oh, okay. That speaks for itself. They're coming out of ATL. Okay. I got uh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the ATL. <laughs> We're going to take a break. But anyway, that's the, that's the wrap up for the minute. What up, hey, Y'all watch it. Whatever you want to you know, watch it. Tell us what calls next. We'll tell you what you thought about if you hadn't saw the show. 1 800. Right. Nine four nine five nine seven three. That's our number to call. It's called Sisterhood. Late uh, Tina B, did you have something you want to say? Close yeah, it out. we can do it on the on, on the flip side of the break, though. Come back okay. on the break. I All have right. something to say. All right, we'll be back. San Antonio Johnson show. Yeah. Tina B, what was you gonna say, Tina B, about, um, about Sisterhood, real quick? You know, I just really believe in in testimonies. You were talking about testimonies and how we don't do that anymore. And sometimes yeah. this show probably goes a little too in depth and it's probably a little too negative. I haven't seen it, so I can only go by what I've heard about it. But yeah. I know that, uh, you know, we are overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Yeah. And so it is good that we see the reality of some things. However, it is so important that those details and the rhetoric leads you to the focal point mm -hmm. of the goodness of God and His grace and His mercy and His mm -hmm. forgiveness and how we overcome. And so um, mm -hmm. as long as the show is directed to that, then applause to it support it and, mm -hmm. and, and and you know what I mean like let's let us Christians continue to, to mm -hmm. edify the body of God and edify mm -hmm. God and so but if it is not if it is not getting that focal point home if it's not having a home run on that mm -hmm. on, on on God being glorified yeah. then I'm with that petition okay All you right. know we can't we cannot I was just talking to my cousin James we cannot just let be so passive in Christianity and just let anything go right. and let anybody talk any kind of way about uh, about our God, our, our God. Father. We cannot be just so casual in the representation of the kingdom. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, because I mean, because and, and we ain't got no time. We got to go to break. But uh -oh. just like for example, you know, like you were saying about testimony. Now, you you in church and this real attractive woman gets up and testifies and say, you know, back in the day, uh -uh. Uh -uh. back in the day, I used to man, you know. It, Oh boy, he trying to get it together. He like, what you used to do? What you know? Hit my, I might go right. back to you and know. You but you, careful. you sure you, you deliver? Yeah, you got. Let set me her test. Down. Let me find out. Wait, you got to set her yeah. down. Yeah, what you so saying? it would be different if she was unattractive. It wouldn't affect but them. Attractiveness makes it make the it's a makes it matter. Attraction. attraction makes it matter. Okay. Attraction. Ask Miss Alabama. Ask Miss Alabama. Yeah. Attraction. Yeah. Stop playing. Attraction is attraction, is, is, attraction can be a distraction. It can yeah, be. You got, you got to cut her mic off and set her down. But if if she's unattracted, she if can a, be it's like anything else. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You people. know what? You know what? You ain't listening. You ain't listening. <laughs> Stop all that. If a man who look, looks skinny, who okay. didn't look like he didn't have no muscles, saying something about he gonna hurt somebody, you wouldn't even think much about. It. Let a muscle bound man say I'm about to beat somebody up in there. You gonna back down? It's the it's what it looks like. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing with me on this radio. Stop it now. Stop it now. I learned something new tonight. I've got that attraction. Okay. Attraction. Okay. Yeah, that's David. If, hey. if Shamar Moore. That's David. What'd he do? If he don't have to do nothing but show up. See, that's what I said. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Shamar Moore. He testified. Shamar Moore get up in church and testify and say, oh. I can't help myself. I just love it. women. I'm the I'm but I'm the yeah. He ain't even got to speak. Just and he ain't got up. no. He just ain't got no up. shirt on. He, uh uh, that's too far. Just show up. It's a done deal. <laughs> sometimes, I, sometimes I don't know about teaching wish. Right. Sometimes they didn't let him up in the church with a, no shirt let, on. Let's take a break. Just shut up, teaching wish. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. It's the Antonio Johnson show.
Welcome to a new year.